Now on Talking Solutions with the 16th annual Fill the Fire Truck Toy Drive, Nino Galloway from the North Las Vegas Fire Department. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. We need to find out about this event. I've been out at the Walmart stores over those weekends leading to the Christmas holiday where people are just coming over and donating because it's for such a good reason. What's the toy drive all about? I think what you experienced and felt by having everybody be around is really why we do this event. And it began by one of our founders of the actual Firefighters Burn Foundation's charity simply saying, hey, I want to help some kids during the holiday time. We put one truck in front of a Walmart and we were able to assist 800 children that year. Move forward to 16 years later, we were able to help a lot more than that because that message, the experience and the feeling of helping those in need during the holidays became powerful between the firefighters and their families. Well, and Christmas is really all about kids. It is correct. Now, I know that you're involved with the Firefighters of Southern Nevada Burn Foundation. We've talked with them in the past Mm -hmm. and the amazing things that our firefighters do, helping kids at burn units in Mm -hmm. hospitals, which is wonderful. And I'm sure that some of the toys collected will make sure that those kids are well taken care of this holiday season. That is correct. But it's not the only kids that are going to be assisted by the Fill the Fire Truck toy drive. Yeah, that's important too. And part of our effectiveness as an organization was creating these partnerships with various charities throughout Southern Nevada. So certain church groups, certain schools, certain charities that have a need and they identify that need through an application process, they're selected. Last year, 48 or 49 different organizations received the toys that we collect. So simply the firefighters, with the support of our fire departments, put the fire trucks out in front of the Walmarts. We also partner with local businesses to be collection drop points. And then we sort them all. And once they're sorted, the partners that we have, the different various charities, will come pick up and they actually will pass them on to the kids. So most kids who are receiving a gift from us don't even know that it came from the firefighters. Well, and the community loves getting involved with this, the 16th annual Fill the Fire Truck Toy Drive. It started over Black Friday weekend, right after Thanksgiving, but it goes on Saturdays and Sundays Mm -hmm. at Walmart locations. We will have those on the Talking Solutions Facebook page, along with a link to a podcast of our discussion today. Nino Galloway is with us from North Las Vegas Fire. Oh, I haven't said to you yet, and I hope people say this all day long. Thank you for your service. You're welcome. Thank you for acknowledging that. You're an important (laughs) part of our community, Nino. And on top of what you do every day, with the Firefighters of Southern Nevada Burn Foundation and this wonderful effort. Did I see a number as far as the number of kids who will benefit from all of these donations? Something like 28,000. I mean, that's a big number of kids who are needing our help for the holidays to make it special for them. Yes, for sure. That number is that high. By having these partnerships, it allows us to get to assist more children. Here's the simple fact. All of these programs that we're partnering with, they're providing clothing and food to make sure that the basic necessities are met. This just happens to be a very good, powerful way for us to assist our youth with these partnership of groups that are actually doing some amazing things, making sure that their basics are covered. Well, one of the things people might find surprising that you have a great need for during the Fill the Fire Truck toy drive is gift cards. Yes, there's two ways for that. One, it's simple and allows us to get those to our youth that are above the age of 11, where it's really difficult to pick and choose what they want. Those numbers of gifts we actually get for them is reduced in comparison to a toy for a six-year-old the boy or girl. Those are really easy and plentiful to grab. But the second part is, and one of the things that really is profound about getting a gift card is a lot of the teenagers have a role in the family that's above being just a sibling. And a lot of them will take the gift card and go turn around and get a gift for their younger siblings. Mm. So there really is power behind that. And so it is often one that we have to keep reinforcing throughout the toy drive and the campaign to make sure that we don't forget our teens because many of them have bigger roles than just being a sibling. Wow, that touches my heart. 
can know that a kid who is maybe a young teenager Mm -hmm. feels so responsible for their younger siblings that they take a gift card that is meant for them to use for themselves and they turn around and they use it for their brothers and sisters. Yes. And that's the purpose of what our charity is about. The Firefighters Burn Foundation began because we wanted to do more. I think we receive a lot in the Valley. We work hard, but that's by choice. And many of the firefighters throughout Southern Nevada, through all the fire departments, felt that they needed to do more to give back based on what we see. Right? We see these environments that people are overcoming. We see these emergencies where lives are permanently affected by a loss or a tragic change. We wanted to do more. So seeing these teens take a gift and then make it a gift is along the same foundational lines. And we're super grateful for that. Nino Galloway is with us from North Las Vegas Fire. And we're talking about the 16th annual Fill the Fire Truck Toy Drive. It's going to help something like 28,000 Southern Nevada kids. Nino, I want to talk to you about when you go out with the fire truck on a Saturday or Sunday at one of the Walmarts. What kind of reaction do you get? I had been out there, I told you, in years past. Mm -hmm. And I see the little kids, they can't wait to run up to the fire truck and talk to the firefighters. And the parents are all too happy to help donate some of the toys that they just came out of the store with and the gift cards. What kind of reaction do you guys get back in the way of like a warm and fuzzy splashback Mm -hmm. for just being there? There's two sides of that. I'd like to address both sides. One, every time you put a fire truck in front of somewhere, children and adults are just going to be very curious about the rig right? What does a fire truck do? What does it look like? The lights, the sirens, the equipment we have on it. Even to this day, after 27 years, I still love what it does, right? I love the feeling of it. That's engagement. That's communicating. That's really being in the community by showing them the fire truck. And the engagement allows us to talk about our purpose of being there, which is to make a kid smile. That's our whole goal. And so we invite them to just grab a toy or a gift card while they're in there. And then what that does for our firefighters is it really allows them to be the other part of that connection, connecting with the community. Sometimes they're standing in cold. We were having a discussion recently about the different locations. Like there's some that have the sun all day long and they're actually fairly warm to hang out and collect. And then there's other stores that don't see the sun at all. So you have to be overly dressed and appropriate. And at the end of the day, because we're doing it for a good cause, you don't see just firefighters. They're bringing their family members out there. That's the impact we want to make because it truly does take a village to raise a child. And in Southern Nevada, like we've seen since one October, we've started to shine with what we've seen as firefighters and police officers as well and other first responders is that our community will step up when the need is made aware. And that's what this toy drive allows us to do. It's very obvious, as you mentioned, since one October, certainly, that we are one community, Mm -hmm. that we are together. And this is an effort that everybody can help with. I know during the shopping season, the fill the fire truck toy drive, it's going to be at several Walmart locations around the Valley. We'll have all those locations on the Talking Solutions Facebook page, along with a podcast of our discussion today. But it's Saturday and Sunday from eight to four. So it's pretty much Mm -hmm. all day when you're shopping. And there are so many ways to just come out and bring the toys. I've seen some of the firefighters when I've been out with the fire trucks Mm -hmm. in past years where they'll put some of the donated toys in a shopping basket and have it with them near the entrance of the store. Yes. So they can show some of the donated items so that people can get really excited and fired up to go, we're going in. We can't forget to get something for the fire truck toy drive. Yes, that's correct. In the marketing world, it's called staging, right? (laughs) And at the end of the day, some people like competition, right? There's two sides of it. Some just grab it because they're grabbing, but there's others that truly will identify and connect with us and go, hey, literally where we're short. And we'll notice that towards the end of the drive, our staff does a great job of recognizing where we're short. So typically we'll kind of request, hey, we're short for youth toys in this age group or this gender and ask them to participate with that. But yes, it does get fun in the process of doing that. When you talked about the competitive nature, do we have situations where for these different Walmart locations and for the different fire stations, (laughs) that are involved. Do you guys compete amongst yourselves? Well, firefighters in general are very competitive. So the short answer is yes. The long answer is with all of us knowing that we just want to help as many children as possible, there are several departments that at the end of the day, when we do our check-in as a group, 
They want to know how the other group did as far as <laughs> how much of the truck was filled, how much gift cards we got, and how much money is raised so that we can really affect more youth. And at the end of the day, they want kudos of kicking each other's butt because that's just what firefighters do. Because that's just how you are. <laughs> yes. Well, during the weekend period, which is from December 7th through the 22nd, each yes. of those Saturdays and Sundays, I got to believe people are so into donating to the fill the fire truck toy drive that I'm sure those fire trucks get filled up more than once. Yeah, there is a few locations throughout the valley that we already have either two rigs at the store because they both fill up or there's a rig that has to go get emptied and brought back. We're grateful for that and we need that. And even then we know that sometimes it's not convenient for people to make Walmart. So we'll make available to everyone who's listening to this, a list of businesses that if they want to drop off to support us, but in support of the whole Southern Nevada community, there's other organizations doing great things as well. And we don't want to just go get a toy and challenge some of your friends and family to do the sim. Chet Buchanan's doing one. The Marines are doing another one. There's several large churches that are doing great events for our community. We believe that if everybody does something, we all, as Vegas, we all win. And that's what our goal is. That's that community we're talking yes. about. Nino Galloway is visiting us from the North Las Vegas Fire Department today, and we're talking about the 16th annual Fill the Fire Truck Toy Drive. It's going on all through the holidays. Any weekend that you're out by Walmart, chances are good you're going to see a fire truck right in front. And Nino, could I point out, and I'm sure you guys are well aware of this, the time when we all want to see the fire trucks Mm -hmm. and the firefighters that we respect and care for so much is when you guys are relaxed and parked in front and gathering toys and not in front of our house fighting the fire that is impacting someone's life. If you're going to see a fire truck, I want to see it outside of Walmart and I can stuff toys inside. That's the best time. Yes. One of the things that we do as part of Talking Solutions, Nino, we always ask as listeners, what can we do to help you? That's a great question because it's about participation and engagement, right? There's a couple things. The first thing we can do is share what you're listening to with friends and family. Secondly, just stop by one of the locations. You'll see them listed as well because you're going to share those. Just grab a toy engage with the firefighters that are there and something that would be really cool. The third piece is if you do drop off a toy, snap a picture either with the crews and hashtag it. Most simple hashtag to use is pound sign FFBF. And for those of you that are advanced, add hashtag operation make a kid smile. Oh, I love that. Okay, so and hashtag FFBF, which would be Firefighters Burn Foundation. Correct. And the other is hashtag operation make a kid smile. What that allows us to do is to really share our community efforts and celebrate the holiday season spirit of giving. Well, and you were talking about marketing a little bit earlier. Uh, Yes. And social media, that's what it's all about. Let's just make this thing go viral and get everybody involved. That's exactly right. I love that idea. Nino, sometimes these days I hear about ways for people to participate when they can't be on site. Kind of a virtual way to donate to the 16th annual Fill the Fire Truck Toy Drive. Do you have anything along that line where I can go online and just donate? Yes. There's two ways you can do it. One, if you want to donate a physical gift, pay attention to the list that we share of locations throughout the valley where you can drop off the toy. Some people physically want to give a gift. If you don't and you just want to be a participant, just go to our website, www.theburnfoundation.org and follow the links for donate. And every penny stays local. None of our gifts go outside of Southern Nevada. Because there's a lot of need here and you guys can make a big impact with the Firefighters of Southern Nevada Burn Foundation putting all this on. So, of course, it's going to stay local. Yes. Nino, is there anything we're forgetting? No, just gratitude. We're grateful for the fire departments allowing us to use the trucks as a fire department function. We're grateful for the firefighters, their families, as well as our other volunteers for putting in the time, energy, and their talents to make sure that this is successful each and every year. And then last but not least, those people who actually step up and engage us and participate in what we're doing. Without all of those key elements, we would never be successful. Well, and in return, Nino, we are grateful 
for you and all the firefighters here in Southern Nevada who make such a difference in our community. The 16th annual Fill the Fire Truck Toy Drive is going on weekends from December 7th all the way through the 22nd, basically every Saturday and Sunday during the holiday season. Sure. All day long from 8 to 4 at several Walmarts around the Valley. We'll have the locations and all the links on our Talking Solutions Facebook page, along with a podcast of our discussion today. Nino Galloway from the North Las Vegas Fire Department. Boy, this has been fun, and I can't wait to make my donation for the Fill the Fire Truck Toy Drive. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for coming in to see us on Talking Solutions.